Well, here she be. That's the uh, box that it came in, and there's the actual unit sitting on the bench. As we noted, it's a 50-foot air hose. It's a 3 inch, and it's rubber, ready for air or water. And they say it can mount either the floor, wall, or the ceiling. I'm actually probably going to mount mine to the ceiling out in the workshop. Okay, let's check out some of the dimensions. Looks like the diameter of the reel is about... 16 inches from the uh, mounting plate to the top it's about 17 and a quarter inches and to this uh, little piece here it's about 17 and a half inches across the front of the reel it's about four and three quarters of an inch here we can see the mounting plate it has uh, two full holes and two slotted holes this steel is pretty thick. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and measure that. It comes in at about um, 0.18 inches or uh, 4.6 millimeters. Here we can see the one size. According to the uh, documentation, this is a machine brass fitting here. And this little plug just pops out. This is where we'll thread our adapter in. And this will be the uh, airline feed from the actual air compressor itself. There's four uh, what appear to be nylon rollers, so when your hose pulls out, it'll be able to roll smoothly and won't uh, fray the hose. And it looks like if these rollers ever wear out, you see there's four bolts here. There's actually a plate on the bottom. You can take that plate off and get access to the uh, little axles that hold these rollers on and put some new rollers on if you ever need to. And if you look down inside the reel here, you can actually see here's the ratcheting mechanism. So when you've got your hose out, you don't want to be recalling in. This should engage here. You can also see it looks like there's a single piece of plastic in here on the uh, on the hub of this. It seems to be the uh, sole exception. Everything else appears to be metal. Okay, well, I guess the next thing to do is take it out to the uh, shop and install it, hook it up to the air compressor, and we're the only thing to uh, check out at this point in time is just to make sure that the uh, hose extends easily and retracts easily. Of course, every time, one of the big fears would be the uh, retraction mechanism of the spring wears out and it doesn't want to retract for us, and or that the uh, hose starts to wear out, but only time will tell there. Okay, so here we can see the hose reel mounted in my little workshop here. It's actually uh, April 2017 now. When I bought this, it was June 2014, so it's been close to three years. The video never got produced, so I'm just going to pick it up here. Which is good because now we can see how the thing is held up over a three year period. This guy is pretty heavy so when you mount it you want to make sure you have it nice and secure. I put that a 2 by 10 across between the joists there. And put some pretty heavy duty ledger bolts in there to hold it. And then there's four bolts going up through that to hold it up to there. And I've had no problems with it. Just to show you how everything's rigged here. Everything is using the Teflon tape. And then I've got an air filter which came from Harbor Freight as well. And that goes out to some quick release connectors there. And this little short yellow run just comes right down to my air compressor. This is just moved here, which is why everything's not uh, been secured in place yet. The one kind of wacky thing about this, and I'm not sure if the other similar type devices from other manufacturers have similar issues, but when you pull it down, it's only going to catch in certain positions. Like right now, it doesn't catch. Now you hear it clicking stop. Now you can see if you don't catch that click it's going to let go. The reason I bring that up is when I first got it I made a mistake. I wanted to work out on the driveway filling up some tires so I just grabbed the end and started heading out there dragging this thing the whole way and I thought I had it secured out there and of course I'm you know close to 50 feet away. I put this hose down on the ground and it just took off and it retracted all the way back into the shed here it hit something pretty sharp on the end I think it had this uh, little blower at the time so basically what happened when it came through the door it, it whipped whiplashed up here and took out those two tubes and that light and completely smashed them plus if anybody had been standing in here there's a very good chance that they would have been very seriously injured if not killed when that thing let loose like that so I guess the morals of the story is if you're going to reel it, you know, all the way out to the length you don't have close proximity to it. I just 
coil it up on the floor now and then just take the end and walk out once it's you know, been uncoiled as far as I think I'm going to need it. Here's something you probably want to get if you don't already have one if you fill up a lot of tires. Is these babies with the gauge built in. You just put it on there and pull it back and you can watch the pressure rise. And this thing works great. I checked it against a digital pressure gauge once and it was right on the money. So probably the biggest issue with this product is the quality of the hose itself. And you can see here that the rubber is just cracking pretty severely everywhere. This is just the outer coating, of course. I don't know how long we are till failure. I mean, it could go for another couple of years, but uh, this is probably not something you're going to see a good year hose do, I would assume. Keeping in mind that this hose has been kept inside out of the ultraviolet light, so that shouldn't have caused any problems for it. Here we can see we're probably, there's maybe six to eight feet length left on the reel and we've got this big uh, I guess defect or bubble here but it's been there for several years looks like it might be getting a little worse so I guess it's going to burst one of these days and of course once it goes the whole thing's no good because unless you have special tools to crimp connectors on the end of these things you really can't uh, just snip it off and reuse it so if you do need to replace your hose they're selling this Diablo brand now at Harbor Freight it's black and I've seen these on sale for 50 foot or 3 8 inch down at under twenty dollars these days and seems to be a better quality but it's hard to tell this is only a few months old so and of course there's also these polyurethane lines this particular one is you know much older than this harbor freight set and i've never seen any cracking in it and of course it gets pretty stiff when it's cold out i'm not really sure how well this would work on, on a reel there and after three years there's really no worries about the uh, tension on that spring it's still plenty of tension If I were to let this thing go with my hand, it would go in there uh, a hell in to say the least. So there you have it. That's the Harbor Freight uh, 50 foot hose reel. Really pretty happy with it overall. As I pointed out, really the really only shortcoming here is the quality of that rubber hose. Now the one you get three years later may be better or maybe worse. It's hard to say. Then again, I've seen these advertised for several months for the sub $50 price range. So that's pretty, uh, pretty good, especially compared to the competition. If you go out and buy another one of these Diablo hoses for 20 bucks, it's still going to put you $70, which is about what I paid for it. And outside of the hose, the build quality seems to be pretty decent. Good heavy metal. The uh, thing still recoils pretty well. And as I pointed out earlier, the only thing is to make sure when you're pulling it out there that it's actually clicked the ratchet and it's secured. Because if you have it extended out there, and you let go of it, and it hasn't been uh, caught on the ratchet, it's going to take off like a bat out of hell and maybe hurt somebody, so just be aware of that. All right, hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below, and as always, thank you for watching. I also want to take a minute to show you this other uh, unit I bought it's from Sears, the Craftsman unit. I bought this before I found the Harbor Freight unit, <clears throat> and I actually paid the same exact price for it, $70, supposedly on sale at Sears. And, of course, I paid $70 for the Harbor Freight unit. But it's just a totally a different class. This uh, Craftsman is just uh, it's all plastic casing here. Unlike the Harbor Freight, which, of course, is uh, steel and has brass fittings. Also, the hose is a polyurethane hose instead of the rubber hose. Frankly, I'm not sure which one is better. And this thing does not really seem to have a very strong... Uh, recoil some of the times I'm really wondering if you're even going to make it back into the reel when you try to retract the hose I'm not too impressed with that this thing is probably only a year or so old and hasn't been uh, used very often anyway big disappointment kind of sorry I bought this also I don't know if you can tell or not but inside here there's only a roller on the front and the back it doesn't have four-way rollers in all four sides like the uh, Harbor Freight unit does so if you want but it does uh, swivel. It's on a hinge. So I guess it does compensate for that.